Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to expand e power x into cos y about 0, pi by 2 up to third degree. So, let's take the given function f of x, y which is e power x into cos y. The value of a is 0 and b is pi by 2 from the given point 0, pi by 2. So, let's find f of 0, pi by 2 and this value will be 0 because cos pi by 2 is 0. Now, let's find the first derivative, partial derivative with respect to x. So, e power x is e power x and cos y is constant. So, we will write as it is. Now, we have to find f x of about 0, pi by 2. Since cos y is there, when I put pi by 2, this will become 0. Then f x x. Again, we get the same term e power x into cos y and f x x of 0, pi by 2 will be 0. Then in the same way, f x x x is e power x into cos y and f x x x of 0, pi by 2 is 0. Now let's find f y partial derivative with respect to y. So here e power x will become constant and cos y we have to differentiate. Cos y differentiation is minus sin y. So here f y of 0, pi by 2 will be e power 0 is 1 and sin pi by 2 is 1. So answer is minus 1. Then f y y e power x is constant and this will become minus cos y. When we substitute this point 0, pi by 2, this will become cos pi by 2 which is 0 then f y y y will be again e power x is constant minus cos y will become sin y because cos y is minus sin y already there is a minus it becomes plus. Now f y y y of 0, pi by 2 will be e power 0 is 1 sin pi by 2 is 1 totally it is 1. Now we have to find f x y. This is partial differentiation of f y with respect to x. So already f y is here. We are going to do with respect to x. So e power x is e power x and minus sin y is constant because we are doing with respect to x. So now f x y of 0, pi by 2 will be e power 0 is 1, sin pi by 2 is 1 but we get minus 1 because there is a minus sign. Now f x x y will be differentiation of this again with respect to x will be e power x into constant minus sin y as it is and the value about the point f x x y of 0, pi by 2 will be minus 1 because it is the same term. Then we have to find f x y y which is nothing but the partial differentiation of f y y with respect to x. So e power x will be e power x and minus cos y is constant which will be as it is. Now f x y y of 0, pi by 2 will be since cos y is there cos pi by 2 will become 0. And after all this finding all these values we are going to write the Taylor series expansion formula which is f of x comma y equal to f of a comma b is the first term then 1 by 1 factorial we have to write the first term which is x minus a into f x of a comma b plus y minus b into f y of a comma b then plus 1 by 2 factorial and we have to follow the pattern of this term we like a and b and we are going to write the form of a plus b whole square. So x minus a whole square f x x of 
ए कमा बी प्लस टू ए बी तक टू ए बी एंड दिस बिकम एफ एक्स वाई ऑफ ए कमा बी प्लस वाई माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर इनटू एफ वाई वाई सो दिस लाइक ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर द नेक्स्ट टर्म विल बी वन बाई थ्री फैक्टोरियल फ्रॉम ए प्लस बी होल क्यूब फॉर्म सो पस्त ए क्यूब एक्स माइनस ए होल क्यूब इनटू एफ एक्स 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 ऑफ ए कमा बी प्लस थ्री ए स्क्वायर बी सो थ्री ए स्क्वायर ए इज एक्स माइनस ए स्क्वायर बी इज वाई माइनस बी इनटू एफ एक्स एक्स वाई ऑफ ए कमा बी देन प्लस थ्री ए बी स्क्वायर ए बी स्क्वायर दिस इज एफ एक्स वाई वाई ऑफ ए कमा बी एंड द लास्ट टर्म इज बी क्यूब सो व्हिच इज वाई माइनस बी होल क्यूब इनटू एफ y y y of a comma b dot 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 so we are written up to third degree now we are going to substitute all the values the left hand side we have f of x comma y which is nothing but the function f of x comma y is nothing but e power x into cos y so e power x into cos y equal to first f of a comma b f of a comma b is here f of 0 comma pi by 2 which is 0 so first term is 0 then plus 1 by 1 factorial bracket open now we have to substitute the value of fx into x minus a whole square but fx is 0 so no need to write that next we have fy which is minus 1 so i am writing it directly so next term is y minus pi by 2 whole square Into f y, which is minus one. In the same way, one by two factorial f x. Here f x is sorry f x x. F x x is once again zero. So no need to write this term. Then coming to this, we have f x y. F x y is minus one. So x minus one into That is two into two a beta, two into x minus one. Then y. Sorry, it is two into x minus zero, which is x. Then y minus pi by two, two a b into minus one. We got f x y s minus one. Then coming to this y minus b into f y y, f y y. Is zero, so no need to write that term. So bracket close. Plus one by three factorial. Again, we have to substitute for f x x x, which is zero. So no need to write that term. Then we have f x x y. F x x y is minus one. So we have to write three x minus a whole square. So three x minus a means x. Whole square into y minus pi by two into minus one. Yep, x x y. The next one, yep, x y y. That is zero here, so no need to write it. Then yep, y y y. That is the last term. Yep, y y y is one. So last term is plus y minus pi by two whole cube. Into f y y y is one, so into one. So bracket close plus dot dot dot. Now again, let's rearrange this. So e per x into cos y gives minus of y minus pi by two whole square. The first term. Then here again minus two two gets cancelled. X into y minus pi by two. Then here, this 
3, 5, 0, 6. We can cancel. We left with only 2. So minus x square into y minus 5 by 2 by 2. And the last term is plus y minus 5 by 2 whole cube divided by 6. Sorry, this term is not square. Only y minus 5 by 2. So we completed the expansion.